Hey Yatris, welcome back to the Yatri Cloud. After a long time, I'm creating a video. So today, I'm sharing something very special, like how to become a DevOps engineer in 2025, step by step. So this is not just a road map. It's like my personal journey. So no boring theories, no hi-fi words, just clear, just simple talk like your best buddy. So just grab your tea or coffee and let's begin. So when I heard DevOps term, nah, I didn't even know what it mean. Huh? It was like, kya hota hai ye? Then when I started learning, I realized this is the exactly what every company needs. Like fast delivery, fewer bugs, and easy deployment. So I went from being confused to becoming a DevSecOps engineer. So I'll guide you through the complete journey how you can also become a DevOps engineer in 2025. And today I want to start this journey with you all. Okay. So first thing, what is DevOps? Okay. First question. So DevOps is not just regarding a tool or courses okay so it's like way of working so what do I mean by this way of working so developers and operations teams working together to build some faster test better and deploy smoothly in their infrastructure so that's it so now which tools you need to learn which really makes this magic happen okay so first thing what you need to learn is start with the linux okay so you want to become a devops engineer now nah? then first step is to learn the linux completely so no shortcut for this so other thing is why like why because almost every server is running on a linux that's the reason you need to learn Linux first. Okay. So if you don't know the Linux, how will you even manage those servers? So start the learning basic, basic commands like CD, LS, MKDIR, touch command, file permissions command like CH mode, CH on, then user and groups like how you can create and manage those users and groups. After this, what you can learn is how to start and stop the application and the services and then you can jump onto the shell scripting so i will like it will help a lot later on if you know the shell scripting also so linux is your foundation okay so you will use linux everywhere whether it is a docker kubernetes cloud automation everywhere okay so after learning linux what you need to learn is the network okay look DevOps means your apps are always talking with each other. Okay. So you must need to know the networking, like how networking works and how you can sync up. So just basics. What do you need to learn in networking? What is the IP, DNS, port and DHCP? How it is working actually? Like if you are connecting even the Wi-Fi, nah, then how Wi-Fi is working? Okay. So what is the HTTP? What is the HTTPS that you need to learn? After that, you need to learn some of the basics commands like ping, curl, net state, trace to um, these commands are the for the troubleshooting commands. After that, what you need to understand how the load balancers and proxies are working. Okay, so this will help when something breaks in your production because it will and you need to fix it definitely. So third thing, what you need to learn after the Linux and networking, you have to pick one language. I suggest Python. Why? You don't need to be become a pro coder. Okay. But as a DevOps engineer, you must automate the things. For that, I suggest Python. So first thing, what you need to learn in the Python variables, loops, function, then you need to learn how to read and write the uh, files. Uh, so the file operations, then you need to learn how to call uh, APIs using the Python and then you can learn with the automate. I mean, you're just automating the boring stuff. That's it. So for that, you, you can use the Python and Python is the best because it's a very simple and powerful. You will use it for the scripting, cloud, API and everything. So that's why. 
नेक्स्ट थिंग वट यू नीड टू लर्न इज गिट एंड गिट अप ओके दिस इज मस्ट नो कॉम्प्रोमाइज ओके माई डियर यात्री इज नो कॉम्प्रोमाइज सो एवरी इंजीनियर वेदर इट इज अ डेवलपर और डेवलप्स इंजीनियर यू नीड टू लर्न द गिट एंड गिट अप so you will use it every day you will what you need need to learn in the get and get up so first thing how to get in it add then you can say comment also then push also pull also apart from that you need to learn how branches are working then what is a pull request how to manage your work on the get up and yes start uploading your daily learning on a github after 30 days you will realize you have a 30 plus proof of work on github okay so this is your work so i did it personally and over the 100 plus projects are there in my github profile okay you can check it so next thing what you need to learn is the yaml because your yaml is like your secret weapon okay so before jumping to the tools you need to learn yaml every tool kubernetes docker compose ansible all are using yaml okay so practice writing key value formats then correct indentation and simple deployment file so this is the use case of yaml trust me yaml will follow you everywhere in this devops engineer job role so get comfortable now next thing what you need to learn is cloud platforms so either aws or azure or gcp or any other cloud also so pick any i personally started with the aws and then i shifted to the azure cloud so what i learned na ec2 as a virtual machines s3 for the file storage then iem who can access what you can say <laughs> then cloud watch for the logs then rds for the managing the different different databases and then aws lambda for the serverless okay so next thing is don't just read create an account try that each services break the things fix the things and learn by just doing that's it and remember every day create one repo add what you learned after one month your github will look like an amazing i promise you okay so next thing what you need to learn is the different different devops tools this is the real fun begins now okay so now let's enter to the real devops world this tool will make you like a pro in devops so which tool you need to learn first the first tool is the docker run your application everywhere why to learn docker okay because your app should run on a same laptop or the same server docker makes that happen do you know this so what you need to learn in docker what is container what is image then how to write a docker file also then some of the commands like docker build docker run docker ps and docker exec after that what you need to learn is docker volume and then docker network then you need to learn the docker compose and docker swarm okay docker compose for the running the multiple application setup and docker swarm for the clusters these things you need to learn in in the docker okay so next thing what you need to learn is kubernetes okay why i mean why <laughs> because one docker container that's fine okay but if you have a 100 or thousands of docker containers then what you will do okay so kubernetes manage them for you buddy completely okay so that's why you need to learn kubernetes so what do you need to learn in the kubernetes pods deployments services and then yaml files for the kts i mean kubernetes short form is kts okay then you need to learn kubectl commands config maps secrets then rolling updates and scaling applications okay so these things you need to learn in the kubernetes so next thing what you can do is you have to learn the terraform terraform like make infrastructure with the code okay so first question again why terraform because creating cloud resources by just clicking is slow while you have to create 100 of resources 
or maybe more than okay so terraform does it with a single command you just need to write one file and then run the command for that file okay so what you need to learn in this terraform so you have to choose one provider like aws azure or gcp then you need to learn the variables output then you have to use those resources like ec2 s3 resources for example then you have to learn some of the basic commands in the terraform like terraform init terraform plan terraform apply and terraform destroy okay these things you need to learn in terraform as a beginner so next tool which you need to learn is ansible ansible automates your server setup again same question why i i should learn the ansible because manually installing this softwares like on the 10 or 100 or thousands of server which is so much painful okay but our best best friend you can say our best friend ansible is there which makes it too much easy so what you need to learn in the ansible playbooks inventory files task loop handler and the conditions okay so these things you need to learn in the ansible next thing is you have to learn the jenkins or github actions for the ci cd purpose okay so again same question why i need to learn this jenkins or github actions or etc because you want your code to get tested and deployed automatically that's why so what do you need to learn in this thing how pipeline works write the jenkins files or github actions yaml file and then the third step is the build test and deploy that's it so again next thing you need to learn like it's like last thing what you need to learn in as a devops engineer monitoring and logging okay so you deployed your application but now what hmm you need to keep on eye on it okay so you need to learn the prometheus for matrix grafana to create the dashboards then the elk stack for deep log analysis okay so this will really save your life when customer says your app is slow bro okay so what do you need to learn next is i would say this is the most important stage as a devops engineer this is the most important stage as a devops engineer you can say projects projects and projects then of of learning now you can build real stuff buddy and showcase to this world start with the node js application like node app in your docker then deploy it like second thing is you need to deploy it on a kubernetes third thing create the infrastructure with the terraform and then next thing is the monitor with the grafana after doing this what you can do upload it to the github repository share it on a linkedin tag me and yatri cloud i will definitely review your project and give you a real feedback okay so that's my promise next thing what you can do there is some advanced path like devsecops and mlops after the devops so after you are confident enough with the basics you can go with the advanced level so in the devsecops what you do you are adding the security with the tools like the trivi and snipe okay in the ml ops you are build the ml pipelines with the qflow ml flow so these things are also there we will create a video on this roadmap too so i'm already working as a devops ops engineer so i can guide you to this okay so don't just watch this video don't just watch this video start doing one step each day join the devops yatri group connect with me on linkedin i post the tips daily regarding the cloud and devops on linkedin and you can also connect with me i'll help to review your work and guide you so this is your perfect time or you can say don't wait for the perfect moment start small but at least start and stay consistent be committed trust me this journey is so much beautiful so see you soon in the next video bye bye